Hey, fat puppy, how do you make money with YouTube? About three years ago, my wife and I decided to cut the cord. Cable TV was costing too much. <clears throat> I was paying what I consider to be too much for basically being entertained. Uh, I know some people have all the premium channels. I didn't have all that. And, uh, and they pay the price of a car, a car payment. And I'd had enough of my money being wasted in an area where I only liked a handful of channels anyway. So I cut the cord. Well then I found Roku and I started watching a lot of Roku with its different channels and such. But one that I really, really loved was YouTube. I would watch all kind of YouTube videos on stuff that I was interested in at the time. And I still do that today. Um, I watch a lot of homesteading videos. I'm just interested in that kind of thing. Uh, gardening, getting in touch with nature, camping, uh, RVing, uh, stuff like that. These are the type of videos I like to watch. How-to videos. I watch a lot of how-to videos. So one guy that I like to watch is uh, Arms Family Homestead. And this is a guy who has about 100 acres of land. It looks like it's mainly wooded. Um, he has, but it's not really a farm as much as it is just it's in the woods, more or less. He raises goats, cows, vegetables, uh, has a creek running through his land. Uh, a lot of times it's videos of him and his son playing, you know, just having fun. But there's a lot of how-to in his stuff, too. Well, what got my attention was about a month ago, he made a video on whether he should quit his job or not because YouTube was paying him a fair amount of money. And he actually went into details. He had bought a truck, new to him, I think it was only two or three years old, in January, and had said that even though he financed the loan for four years, he was hoping to have it paid off in a year. Now, that was in January. In June, or possibly July, he made a video. And he said, thanks to you guys, thanks to you all, I have been able to pay off my truck in six months. Now, he's an Oklahoma State Trooper, and you can look up what they make online. It's public information. And he said that he has been making twice as much from YouTube as his state trooper pay. So he was asked, were you going to quit being a state trooper? And he said, no, he said, I'm not going to quit. Um, you know, it's secure. He knows it's always there. And, you know, YouTube might be a gravy train that just runs out, and then he'll be left, you know, high and dry. So he wasn't going to quit, which is a wise decision, I think, on his part. Because YouTube does change its rules every now and then, and, uh, and this causes people to demonetize until they can get caught up to the rules and get things picked back up. Uh, to get paid off YouTube, you have to monetize your account. And that lets YouTube know to watch your account uh, until you meet certain qualifications to actually receive money. Now, how is this done? The rules are this. You have to have 1,000 subscribers within a year. Subscribe to your YouTube channel. You have to have 4,000 hours of viewing time. That is 240,000 minutes of your videos being watched by those who have YouTube accounts. Now, I've had a YouTube account for years. I've used it to store videos I like. Uh, every now and then, I'll push that like button, but not often. I was just enjoying my YouTube videos and whatnot. Le again, learning how to do stuff. Because I'm going to tell you, YouTube, if you want to learn how to do something, YouTube is the place to go. And then read the comments, because sometimes people in the comments will counter what the person says, but then give better advice. So I've been kind of looking at this thing and going, well, how does this work? 1,000 subscribers, 240,000 minutes. Now, I've listened to other people who are successful, who are making money. And they said it's easier to get the subscribers, oh, I'm sorry, it's easier to make the minutes viewed than it is to get the subscribers. That's just something you have to work out and figure out what you're doing. 
one or two things that they have said is it's best if you have a niche that you're appealing to a certain group of people. Like, for instance, homesteading, farming, gardening. This is stuff that gets my attention. Or how-to videos is another way. How to, because I'm always looking and trying to figure out how to do something. Sometimes it's something as simple as working on my car, uh, maybe uh, uh, an issue of something I'm working on in the house, or recently, how to make money off YouTube. Been looking at a lot of how to videos on that. How to and or a niche. So my problem is that I don't think I'm an expert at anything except maybe pest control. I did it for 14 years and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I try to keep up with the latest techniques, the latest chemicals and all that. And even now, even though it's been four years, I think, since I've been in pest control, I still keep up with the latest things that are going on. But I don't want to give out advice on pest control, on how to do it yourself, because I have friends in that business and I want them to do well. And besides, most times, people aren't going to do it anyway. I mean, I had one guy tell me that I can do this, but I'm paying you to take my headache. So I'm not going to do videos on pest control. What do I know that would appeal to a niche market? Honestly, I'm not sure because what I, I'm just not an expert in I know a lot about a lot of different things, but not enough to where I can make videos week after week, sometimes twice a week. Um, I'm just not sure how to fulfill that. But irregardless of that, maybe you can figure that out. Those, there are those that um, make videos. That's just their daily goings-ons in life. It's not really instructional. It's not even a niche. But there is a tiered system on how a person gets paid. The lowest tier is a dollar per 1,000 likes. So if you're watching a video and you like the video, go ahead and like it. Help this person out. You got some value out of it. Give the value back to them and let them make a little money. So that's a dollar per 1,000 likes, and that's if you're lowest tiered. Uh, you get more later. When you get advertisers, you get more. And uh, I don't know how high it goes. I think $5 is the highest. And I've looked at some people's videos and just seen how many subscribers they have, how many likes they have. And the thing is, I can make a video today, and in a month, only get... 75, 100 likes, who knows. But let's say someone a year from now sees that video and they like it. Well, that counts towards that month's average to in total. And so that's the skinny of it. Now, part of it, and I'm looking at my notes here now, part of it is you have to, in order to have the minutes watched, you need to make longer videos. But they have to have content that people will watch. Now, the last video I made was my first video. First professionally edited, if you want to call it professionally. And I learned a lot just from that one video. It was only five minutes long. YouTube has a thing called analytics, and they analyze your video constantly. So I found that the average viewing time was two minutes. So most people watched my video for two minutes, even though it's five minutes long. And I, I learned kind of what the problem was, what I what I'd done, but they the people who know more say it is normal for a person to not watch your whole video, unless there's something they're waiting for in the end, like a how-to video. A lot of times they'll watch to the end because they're trying to learn how to do something that um, that they need to know, and obviously they need to know to the end for the product to be uh, finished, for the lesson to be done, basically. I know there are videos I don't watch to the end, but these are more the niche videos than they are the how-to videos. How-to. Well, I could do some how-to stuff. I know how to do some things. Um, I'm not sure where I would go with that. Again, how-to and niche, I'm just not sure about. Um, so really, what it amounts to is you have to see how big of a deal you can make out of something that you probably don't think is that big of a deal. And what do I mean by that? The Hollers, or the Holler, I'm sorry, Holler Family Homestead is another one I like to watch. And this is less how-to, even though earlier it might have been how-to, I'm not sure, 
than it is chronicling their life. It's a compelling story. A young couple sold everything they owned, their house and everything. They lived out in California. And they bought a 20-year-old SUV big enough to haul a camper, a big camper they bought. And they traveled 46 states over a 10-month period. And they made videos of all that. And then they settled into North Carolina, bought a little piece of land, about five or six acres in North Carolina. And they're still living in a camper. There's an old farmhouse that probably just needs to be torn down in an old mobile home. So they're working on the mobile home is what they're doing. And it's not as much how to, it's just a chronicling of what they're doing. Well, it's a compelling story. It gets my attention and I, I like to watch those videos. And I like, I push like. And since I intend to watch a lot of their videos, I hit the subscribe button. That way their video shows up on my YouTube. And I hit the, there's, there's a little bell there you click. That way I get notifications every time they make a video. It doesn't just randomly show up on my YouTube feed. So the key is to ask people to like number one, subscribe number two, and ring that bell so they can see more of your stuff. Now, these people said that they really don't think their videos are all that great. And I think right now they have 52 or 53,000 subscribers. And they were just amazed. They're like, we don't think it's that great. We don't really think the content is that fantastic. We just want it to chronicle what we do. And uh, so while they're not breaking the bank with what they're making, I would, I would say they're probably not doing bad neither. Um, it takes time. It takes time to make videos, quality videos, and to edit. And there are all kind of YouTube videos on how to edit and what to use. I am making this on an iPhone. And there are some people that that's all they do is their iPhone. And without much else equipment. And there are free apps that you can get to edit. And I'm using one right now. Um, it's called iPhone. It came with my iPhone 7, which is what I'm using. So I think the ideal is to see how big of a deal I can make something that I think is not that big of a deal. Uh, like just doing chores. There are people who are interested. Justin Rhodes, permaculture. I love watching his stuff. And it's not as much as how-to as this is what we're doing. And it's milking cows. It's taking care of chickens. It's where I'm learning about chicken tractors from. And it's just how... It's not as much how-to as is a chronicle, but in the chronicling, built in is how-to. And I love to watch his stuff, Justin Rhodes. Um, so something I've noticed is that in order to keep you hooked into the video, a lot of times in the title, it'll say, this needs to be done, but this needs to happen first. Or I was gonna plant a garden, but this happened. You know, at first I'm like, oh, well, what is this? You know, what, what was your problem? What was the issue? And a lot of times this turns out to be a small nothing. This was that it rained and I'm just going to have to do it another day. This was that I couldn't buy the seeds I wanted. I'm going to have to get them next week somewhere else. So most times this doesn't hook me anymore. Um, just whatever's in the title and the fact that a lot of videos are ones I'm watching already in a regular basis. So this is not necessary, and I won't be using this often. I'm just not going to do it. So this is where this, <laughs> there I go, this is where I'm at in learning. I've only made one video that I edited. I've learned a lot from what I'm trying to tell you. I'm at the very beginning of this. I'm trying to tell you where I'm at, and if I'm going to make any money, and I don't know that I am, I think I'm going to try, but I just I just don't know. But like any, it, it's time consuming. Like any worthwhile project you make money on, it's going to take time. And it's going to take learning. And you'll get better and better at it. That's my hope for myself. And I'm sure you can do the same thing. Um, I think that's pretty well it. I think I've got this thing wrapped up for now. I'm sure after I turn this thing off and start edit, I'll probably think, oh, man, I forgot something. But we're just going to leave it at that. And... For Brian, that's a wrap, my friend. Hey, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.